Hello from some little pond, lake, near Cesus Latria. Foggy winter day. And today's question is, what is self-awareness and why is it important? Let's first begin with what self-awareness is. Self-awareness, as I define it, um, has, has a number of layers. The first layer are your thoughts, beliefs, and emotions. Being introspective um, takes focus, takes work, takes commitment, and it takes courage to look inside yourself, your personality, to understand your motivations, um, how to make changes in your life, how to change your results, uh, changing direction, improving your relationships, improving your performance in all aspects of life, whether it's sports or business or personal relationships. Um, it also requires work to deal with emotional healing, personality disorders, as well as mental illness. It can, having this introspection, doing this work, will improve communication with others and will help you be able to make course corrections. So this is sort of the, the kind of the human level of self-awareness, the personality level of self-awareness. Then there's the spiritual identity, self-awareness, your spirit, soul. Who am I? Who am I really? This again requires work, commitment, study, faith, and an open mind. Comfort with one's life, with struggles. This gives you more compassion, patience, peace. It makes life more interesting. It gives you a deeper connection with others than would otherwise normally be possible. It helps you understand a little bit better some of life's events. It gives you an acceptance of life events that otherwise it might be difficult to accept. It can give you a sense of camaraderie, especially if you have other people who you can discuss these things with, you can explore these things with. And it helps you improve um, dealing with, with life, with others. It helps improve all sorts of aspects of your, of your physical life, of your human life. The third layer of self-awareness is being aware of infinite immortal consciousness, the true self, the real self, the authentic self, the infinite self. This requires commitment, great courage, surrender, a willingness to give up everything, a willingness to let go completely and totally. But what does it give you? What does it provide? Why do it? Because it takes a great deal of courage. What you experience when you do this is complete and absolute peace and tranquility. Infinite understanding and compassion. Unlimited wisdom. A constant state of flow. A state of grace. You're unaffected by life events. Truly unaffected by past traumas and struggles. You're unaffected by future traumas and struggles. You're untouched. You function in the world with absolute clarity. You have access to infinite energy. You have access to infinite creativity. You have access to infinite possibilities and probabilities. You experience everything from the infinite perspective of the Creator. So when it comes to the true self, experiencing the true self, only you can decide if it if it's worth the commitment, the incredible courage it takes to surrender, the willingness to give up everything, to dissolve, to be nothing, to let go completely and totally. Only you can decide whether it's worth that.
that's what it requires. So, I hope that answers your question. That is how I define self-awareness and the three layers of self-awareness. If you have more questions about that, contact me. You can contact me through the lifeanswers.org website. You can read more articles at lifeanswers.org if you like. I developed an entire psychotherapy methodology called self-awareness therapy around this. Study. Study at the website. Practice some of the meditations at the website. There's lots of them there. Also at Light Unlimited Publishing. So if you need help, contact me. I'm here to support you. I'm here to answer your questions. So until next time, take good care and enjoy your day or your evening. Bye for now.